I'm going to show you a neat little trick for estimating bending moments and shear forces in the wing of an aircraft. We'll start by creating a simple free body diagram. First we have the weight of the aircraft. Now it's clear in this configuration the plane isn't flying very well. So we'll add some lift in order to balance out the weight. Now, thanks to equilibrium, we can make a nice substitution here. Now for a bit of trickery. I'm going to break the weight of the aircraft into three components. One for each of the wing weights and one for the weight of the rest of the fuselage. To find the shear forces and bending moments in the wing, we have to separate it from the rest of the fuselage. Applying equilibrium again, we get. So now we've got an approximation for the shear force in the wing root. But for moments, we're still missing something. Can you see what it is? That's right, we don't know the line of action of our forces. We'll put some labels on. Here, x is the distance from the root to the line of action of the lift. And B, in this case, is the semi-span of the aircraft, or just the length of one wing. What we know is that lift is actually distributed. So how do we find the equivalent line of action for a distribution that we don't really know? We can approximate. If we approximate the distribution as triangular, this is the line of action. If we approximate it as rectangular, this is the line of action. In practice, the answer is somewhere in between. The same approximation works pretty well for the wing weight. So now, by applying moment equilibrium, we get our result. 